Hey guys, this is Mika with That Girl Saves, and today we're talking all about, yeah, budgets. Um, I'm going to show you how to write your first budget, a simple budget, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about sinking funds today. So, here we go. Alright, so we're going to start with a monthly budget, and we're going to do kind of a simple one. So, um, you're generally going to want to have a monthly budget, even if you get paid every week, every two weeks, however you get paid, you're going to want one monthly budget. You're going to want that so that you can see everything for the whole month. You may need to do a second budget to show, you know, what you're going to pay this week or what you're going to pay that week. But right now we're going to do a monthly budget and in the next video I'm going to show you how to do a weekly budget and I'm going to show you how to do a bi-weekly budget. There's some other things that you may need to go with that. So we're going to stick with a, sim a simple one month budget. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what your income is. Your income, your income is going to be how much money you bring home, basically. So, um, if there's two of you, then that's going to be both of your budgets. That's, okay, so for this family, I'm getting used to this camera, y'all. <laughs> so for this family, one person brings home two thousand four hundred. I'm um, sorry, two thousand two hundred forty-five dollars and twelve cents a month, and the other person brings home one thousand six hundred. Twenty-three dollars and twelve cents. That's giving us a monthly income of three thousand eight hundred sixty-eight dollars and twenty-four cents. That's what we have to work with. So that's what we have to work with this month: three thousand eight hundred sixty-eight dollars and twenty-four cents. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at. First thing we're going to do is look at our um, our rent because we're thinking about those four walls. Remember, we've got these are our four walls right here. We've got to have um, transportation. We've got to have a roof over our head. I think food is down here, but we've got to have those four walls, right? So those are the most important things that we need to pay. So let's start with the mortgage slash rent. Um, their mortgage is going to be one thousand. One hundred twenty-seven dollars. Um, I'm gonna just put a little slash here because these are two separate costs. So electric is one hundred and forty, and gas is one hundred and forty. And these people are on a budget. Their internet is sixty, but guess what? Their cable is eleven because all they have is Netflix. <laughs> um, get water, trash, sewer, seventy-five dollars. Dining out. So I'm putting dining out and groceries together. So this is 300 for the whole month. So, you know, you can eat out every day if you want, but when your money's gone, that's it. Next thing is gas. They have two cars. So they're going to put $30 in a week, and that's for four weeks. So that's $240 on gas for the month. And... $75 for a cell phone. Um, this is actually what we pay for our cell phone. We pay $75 for two iPhones and we have 8 gigs, eight gigs of data each. Yeah, it's the bomb. So I'm going to have to fill y'all in on that. Um, household beauty, you know, if you want to get your hair done, um, you need to buy toilet paper, you need to buy paper towels, things like that. Um, $200 a month. Now for me, I put this into my uh, miscellaneous budget. If you've seen my other video, my cash, my cash envelopes video, I put this into my uh, miscellaneous budget. Okay, moving on. Entertainment. These guys are getting eighty dollars a month, which is what twenty dollars a week for entertainment, because they're trying to save their money because they have debt to pay off. Uh, they don't have childcare, and they have a hundred and sixty dollars spending money. Um, when you're on a budget. A lot of times people will say, no, 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 you need to save everything, everything, everything. But guys, sometimes you got to give yourself some grace because to be on a budget, and especially if you've got 
debt that's going to take longer than a year or longer than 18 months like you got to have some breathing room so for us we put a little bit of spending money into our budget not always but we put a little bit in there because we've got to have some grace like you will be burnt out if you cannot buy anything for a whole year and a half so give yourself some grace <laughs> um car insurance hundred and fifty dollars they've got two cars health insurance i'm gonna put a slash there um generally most people's health insurance is paid by their employer if they're self-employed they will probably be paying their own um i don't have a statistic for that though so um life insurance 120 okay so car insurance 150 can you see that 150 and um and life insurance 150 um most health insurance is paid by your employer if you have an employer uh so that's that's going to come out of this grand amount at the top okay so i have the next section the next section is Car payment, home repairs, travel, vacation, gift budget. Okay, so this is where I would put sinking funds. These are these are what I would do as sinking funds, okay? And we'll talk about sinking funds in just a second. Okay, so right now we're going to leave these blank, okay? All right. So our total expenses, our total expenses come up to... Two thousand eight hundred twenty seven dollars. So our sample family had one thousand forty one dollars and twenty four cents left over. So they're going to fund their sinking funds. So one thing about sinking funds, you don't have to fund them every single month. Just fund them when you need to fund them or when you have money to fund them because <laughs> you don't have it every month. At least we don't. <laughs> so we do not um, we do not fund them, every, fund our sinking funds every single month. Um, you have to think about sinking funds about um, kind of like the way you're living your life. So if um, you know that you want to replace your car, you may not want to just put $100 in there. You may want to not fund these other funds and put $400 into your um, car replacement fund. Um, this family, they're just working on repairing the car if they need to repair it. So they're only going to put $100 in there. Now remember, your sinking fund is growing as long as you're not using it. So as long as they don't have to, you know, don't have a car repair, everything they put in there just keeps building up. But, you know, if they have something happens and they got to get a tire and they got to get it now and they can't wait that money is already there that's your already built-in security system you don't have to go touch your thousand dollar emergency fund because you already have money to take care of your car um home repair most people who own a home they have homeowners insurance and for the most part you will have you know if you own a home you know this you will have something break. <laughs> You'll have some break every month. Something needs to be replaced. Something needs to be fixed. So if you have a home sinking fund, then you just go in there and you get what you need. We've had, I think we've had three garbage disposals since we've been here. Yeah, they're like $100 a piece. <laughs> so our home sinking fund has really been one that we've used a lot. <laughs> um... But if you were gonna, if you were planning to buy a home, you may not, you may um, decide you want to put more in there. So if this is your home replacement fund or buying your first home fund, then you may want to put, you know, more money into that fund. Um, this family is kind of like mine, <laughs> based on mine, kind of. So we're not looking to buy a new house. We're just looking to keep the one we've got together. <laughs> so we're putting a hundred dollars in there. Uh, vacation. They chose to just put a hundred dollars in vacation because they don't have any major trip, trips planned. And you know, if they decide they want to, you know, go out of town and go spend the night somewhere, they have money for that. If someone passes away and unfortunately they need to leave and drive to, I don't know, another state and 
go to a funeral they have money there I say that because it actually happened to us um, and our vacation fund was there we had the money. I mean, it really wasn't a vacation, but we needed to get there. And so we had that money already put back for vacation. So we went, we had the money, we didn't have any worries. And we, you know, went to the funeral and we came back home. But we did not have to touch our emergency fund in order to do that because that could have been an emergency. So um, we had the money there to do that. Gifts. Those are for your kids going to a birthday party, which you could also use your miscellaneous money. But I kind of like to have this gift money put back. Also, Christmas. We do gift slash Christmas sinking fund. So we try to put back as much as we can throughout the year for Christmas gifts. Because we always do a small Christmas budget. But if we can put money back all year long, then we have a bigger Christmas budget. But you know me, I'm cheap. I'd rather just pay pay off debt than buy a lot of Christmas presents. <laughs> I still love my family, but I just, you know, I'd rather pay off debt because in the long run, that's way better uh, than having gifts. So this family chose to pay to put $400 in their sinking funds total. So remember, a sinking fund is money that keeps building up. So that money will be there when they need it. They can spend it or they cannot spend it or whatever. That money's there. Um, so now they spent $400, so they have, they now have, I'm going to write it right here. Oh, my hand's in the way. Let's see. Okay, so they're going to have $641.24 left over that they can now put on their debt. So, um, if you are... If you ever, if you've already got your sinking, or if you've already got your emergency fund, your one thousand dollars starter emergency fund, then this money will go to your debt. If you don't have your one thousand dollar emergency fund, then this money will go to your one thousand dollar emergency fund. And if I was working on my emergency fund and I came up with six hundred and forty one dollars and twenty four cents at one time, I would be proud of myself. That means you only got about four hundred more dollars to go, and then you've got that emergency fund taken care of. So, guys, that is how you do a simple budget. Now, if you decide that you wanted to do, um, if you decided that you wanted to do these every single month instead of making them a sinking fund, kind of how we've done, we just um, fund them when we have money for it. But if you wanted to fund them every single month, then you would just write it in right here. Um, so now this family has six hundred and forty one dollars and twenty four cents left over to pay their debt um and that's that's it that's a simple monthly simply monthly uh budget um up here it has monthly savings and monthly goals now um w like i said we're followers of dave ramsey and you have to remember that personal finance is definitely personal. You have to do it the way that best works for your family and the way that you see fit. Um, so some people like to do savings also as they are paying off their debt. We have chosen to not do that every single time. Uh, put savings back every single time. We do have a fully funded emergency fund. And if there's extra money sometimes, some month we some months we may take a little bit of extra money and add it on to our um, emergency fund. We have had times where we've had things happen where we've had to clear out our emergency fund. And that's just a part of life, guys. We've started over on our emergency fund so many times. But it was there and it was and you know, we were able to take care of the things that we need to take care of. So you have to decide if you wanna pay debt and save every month um that's kind of up to you like i said we actually saved our emergency fund and then we put some back some months it's not every month it's probably like four months out of a year when we actually put money back into our um emergency fund because it's still fully funded so um you just have to decide if that's going to work for you um guys i want to thank you so much for watching and for joining me on this budget, I'm going to put a link below to where I found this budget worksheet, which made this really easy. I hope <laughs> I hope this video was easy for you guys to understand. 
but um, if you have any any questions you can leave them below in the comment section I love to help you like I say all the time I'm not great I'm not perfect at this I'm really good at some of these things um, and some of the things I'm still learning but um, this definitely has helped us pay off our debt a lot faster than we ever could imagine we would pay it off so if you um, have enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up <laughs> Uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will know when we have videos coming up um, so guys thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later